Hello and welcome to AutoBot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nixon. So today we are going to learn how we can calculate the performance of our uh, UiPath workflow execution. Okay. So just consider you have created a, a big workflow. Okay, which is having a uh, uh, hundreds of activities and for uh, each execution or for the entire execution it is taking around the 15 uh, uh, minutes okay and your uh, client is telling okay you need this process to complete within uh, some 10 minutes okay so how, how you can uh, do that for that you will have to uh, check the performance of your workflow execution right so you need to understand which activity is taking more time or which workflow is taking uh, more time in the entire execution time right so based on that only you will be able to do a fine tuning of your uh, entire workflow automation right for that uipath is offering a method that is called profile execution okay so if you enable the profile execution and if you start executing or debugging the process it will start capturing the time taken for each activity and it will give you a cumulative sum of all the activities okay inside a workflow okay so it will help you to easily understand which activity is consuming more time in your automation process and based on that you can do some fine tuning like maybe you can uh, reduce the maximum timeout or uh, maybe you can uh, use a instead of uh, using the hardware events you can use the simulator a click or type activity for uh, getting a better action so, or you can modify the activities as well uh, sorry modify the activities or modify the selectors as well for getting a faster action so this profile execution is one feature that will help you to achieve this uh, performance calculation okay uh, so i just hover so what is that okay so when active execution timing data is collected and displayed at the end of the subsequent runs okay so there is one profiling uh, panel and once this execution got completed you will be able to see the entire execution result in that profiling pan so before to that let me go to the document of this profile execution okay so use profile execution to identify performance issues in workflow execution so how it works when you run or debug your workflow the profile execution provides a performance analysis of all the operations okay showing you a cumulative percentage of the execution time of each activity so uh, here you can see there is uh, one uh, workflow uh, fast excel and inside that uh, there are multiple activities other right so here um, what it is showing it is showing uh, this uh, uh, taking uh, the main xml as 100 percentage and inside that which activity is taking more time uh, for actioning okay and uh, based on that um, uh, you can go to the activity and uh, you'll help you can reduce the uh, execution time of that particular uh, activity okay by making the uh, modification okay i hope you got a clear understanding about the use of this and uh, at the end you'll be able to get a statistics also like what is the execution time when the execution got started and what's the total duration and for activities how much time it, it took and for the children how much time it took for the execution so, okay so the overall uh, time taken is uh, six, uh, six second and nine one six or millisecond okay so this is how you will get a statistics of the uh, total uh, execution so consideration uh, uh, profiling data generated during debug debugging might be generated from a data generated during production running the file so uh, during uh, debugging or while, while you are executing or running the file the time taken may be different okay so it totally based on how uh, these two features are going to work so that timing may be different so if you want to get the real time production execution time you need to run the file and you need to get the uh, performance timing and uh, for each profile session it will uh, store the data in the uh, uipath folder inside a profile runs folder okay and what is analyzing profile result to uh, profile execution run a file or debug the file then go to debug uh, ribbon uh, tab okay so these are the main things about uh, profile uh, execution <coughs> and the uh, contest menu for profiling open right click the parent uh, file in the uh, profiling tab and select uh, open to jump to the selected uh, workflow so it means like uh, uh, from the right side if you want to see that activity in the uh, designer panel you can directly right click and uh, you can 
select open to jump to that uh, particular uh, workflow okay so just consider in your process if you have multiple workflows and if you want to navigate to, to that particular workflow means you can right click and uh, you can click on open uh, open uh, uh, tab okay focus means right click on activity and select focus to center the designer panel view on the selected activity it will help to highlight that particular activity search means you can search for a particular uh, activity or expand this for help, uh, helping to expand or uh, collapse all the uh, activity list okay so that's it about uh, profile execution for a demo i'm going to use an rpa challenge and i already created a uh, basic automation process okay so let me try to execute this without using profile execution now i'm going to run the file and you will be able to see this profile execution in the debug panel okay so you need to go to debug and insert the ribbon you will be able to find profile execution and i'm getting the data from me uh dummy file i already created so in that excel uh, i created a two rows of data so the automation will uh, get that value and it will enter the details here and you will click on the submit button okay so that is the automation process so we are using some ui automation as well as the excel automation so uh, we can understand like uh, uh, for which activity is taking more time or which container or which child activities are taking more time for the execution Okay, so actually uh, this um, uh, feature will be very much helpful if you are going for a big automation containing uh, um, many activities and if you need to uh, limit the execution time to some uh, particular constraint okay so at that time you have to use this profile execution and you need to uh, identify the time taken for each activity to perform their task okay so now let me go to studio and here we are not able to see any profile tab right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start the profile execution now i want to calculate the execution time of each activity so what i need to do let me click on this profile execution okay so you already enabled this right and in profile execution you can see open profile panel this will help you to see that uh, action that has taken so let me click on that uh, so whatever the execution time you just captured you will be able to see all those details in the profiling panel okay and another thing is import profiling session like as i mentioned for each uh, profiling it will capture the data in the log file so if you want to see that file means you can directly open that file from the your path or folder path okay then i already enabled this you need to enable this you need to activate this then let me run the file so it is entering the details okay so our execution is completed and in the profiling panel you are able to see uh, the main dot xml that is the main workflow and there is a sequence over there and if you click on this it will expand the activity uh, list and here you can see uh, the container use browser uh, activity i have used and it has consumed 98.5 percentage and uh, what are the other things okay then a do activity uh, do uh, uh, sequence is there it has taken 95.4 and the child activities like for has consumed 89.2 uh, percentage of time and uh, Okay, this type into and all it has consumed 12.4, 11.5 percentage like that. It has uh, taken the time. And if you double click on this particular activity, it will uh, highlight the particular activity in the design panel. Okay. And uh, if you or if you right click also, it will uh, focus that particular activity in the design panel. And here at the bottom, you are able to see uh, the total time taken for the execution and sorry this is not the timing okay so if you click on main.xml it will show you the total statistics okay how much time it has uh, taken total duration and for each activity how much time it has taken and for children how much time it has taken for the uh, execution so all these statistics you will be able to find and it will help you 
to get an overview like which activity is consuming uh, the most in the uh, performance of this particular execution and based on that you can modify the activities to get a better response okay. and i'm going to do one more thing uh, let me create a new workflow create a new workflow i'm going to name it like uh, workflow 2 okay and just to drag and drop one more activity right line execution completed okay so that's it and i'm going to call this second workflow in our uh, main workflow so workflow 2 i'm calling here okay let me go to debug enable profile execution and start the execution Okay, so execution could complete it and uh, here you can see two workflows are there, right? And this workflow has taken on like less than 0.1 percentage. Let me expand this. And for this type into, you can see there is some decrease, right? Uh, it's It has taken only a 9.7 percentage. So uh, this is how uh, you can uh, modify your workflows and uh, you can get better performance of uh, the workflow of execution okay so if you find this video is useful please like the video please try this out in your your path studio and uh, uh, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye